Starman3YT here. Uh, this video is going to be an arpeggio exercise lesson. I haven't done a lesson in a while and I just thought this might be pretty cool to do since this is pretty an advanced one that I can't even master myself because it's pretty hard. Like I said in the title, it's an arpeggio exercise that's almost impossible to master. But it really helps. Even if you can't master it, it's going to help you in other areas, especially getting your picking and um, left hand down together. So anyway, so it's in D major. It's a D major arpeggio. <laughs> So you go. Starting up on the fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, then your D shape. Then you're going to take your pinky and grab the fifth fret of the first string. That's a pretty good one just to, ex to use as a practice as an exercise. Okay, slide up two frets. There to the seventh. Seventh fret, first string. Back to the third fret. This is going to be an E shape. This is E. It's the E note on the fifth string. So we're going from D major to E. Seventh fret, first string, third, third fret, first string, the second string on the fifth fret, the third string on the fourth fret, the fifth fret on the fourth string. And the E note, which is on the fifth string at the seventh fret. Slide. Okay, now this time we're going to take turns back sliding from the first string to the fifth string. Because on the fifth string, you're going to take your pinky. This time you're going to slide up two notes on the fifth string. going to be the same exact shape as the E shape, but you move it up to this. This is F sharp. So we're going from D major to E. E minor. Then we're going to go to F sharp minor. Then one more time we're going to slide this time we're only going to slide up one fret, back to a major, G major, which is the same exact shape as the D. So pretty much we're using just those two, these two shapes, which is major and minor. Just going up the neck, changing chords. D, E, F sharp minor, G major. Now we're moving to A, 
A major. Sink again, slide up two frets, and we're going to another minor. B minor. So here's what we got so far. D. Okay, now after the B minor, this is the tricky one. This is going to be in C sharp. I'm not sure what kind of chords, some kind of weird mode, but it's which is the fifth string, fifth string, sixteenth fret, fourth string, fourteenth fret. Third string, twelfth fret. Cool. And then we're going to do just the the octave of that, which is going to be on the second string, fourteenth fret. First string, twelfth fret. First string, fifteenth fret. So it goes like this. Sounds like some kind of diminished. Okay, you get that down, and then we're going to back to the D major again. It all starts all over, but on the high octave. We're stopping on the 15th fret, and then we're sliding up to the 17th fret to make the D major chord. Same thing down here. Okay, so it's basically this is running up the neck from those two shapes. Major, minor, another minor, major, another major. chord and then back to the D and then in the book that I got that in a long time ago from advanced advanced lead guitar that was the only thing that I remember out of it because it was the hardest thing that stopped right they stopped right there but what I do is just continue it up on up the neck it's starting exactly the same, but an octave higher. Cool. And when you get there, if you got a 22 fret guitar like me, that's as far as you can go. So then you're going to start over. Then I go back down. So I hope I hope uh, that I've explained it pretty good. How, however, then you just start real slow, get your picking and your fingers down good, and uh, I think you can you can if you're really good at sweeping, you can sweep it and make it really fast. But I use it to kind of uh, practice getting my picking picking together with my fingers. <laughs> Like it sounds cool picked and sweeping you go <laughs> that's one thing i don't have down really good <laughs> that's how jason becker would probably do it
So anyway, if you want to get that down, like I say, practice slow. You could use a metronome if you'd like. Practice it slow and just work your way up to tempo just to get it to a certain speed that's comfortable for you. Don't try to go too fast. Get it to where it's comfortable for you. <laughs> ¶¶